back to the daily grind and shout out to the full time patrons. Make sure to hit subscribe if you're new and hit thumbs up if you're not a baby back bagel biting bitch boy because you know what time it is. It's full time. MMA. And holy smokes, no pun intended, Mackenzie Dern has missed weight by eight pounds ahead of her UFC 224 fight with Amanda Bobby Cooper. There was already a little bit of heat going into this fight. Amanda Bobby Cooper at first wasn't really down with the shaking Mackenzie Dern's hand at the weigh-in. You know what I'm saying? Missed a couple of them, and she said some things, including after Mackenzie Dern missed weight. I believe Amanda Bobby Cooper just came out and said that Mackenzie Dern is a disgrace to all professional fighters. Hey, I mean, this still is going to be a good fight, I believe, if uh, Amanda Bobby Cooper accepts the fight. Because Mackenzie Dern is a very high-level jiu-jitsu player. She's not known for her well-rounded mixed martial arts skills, but she's a very high-level jiu-jitsu player. So with that being said, she's going against a UFC veteran and Amanda Bobby Cooper, who um, a lot of people would think would probably beat Mackenzie Dern if this was just a striking exchange. But Amanda Bobby Cooper has actually lost multiple fights via submission. You know what I'm saying? So, or you know, I guess that's better for this video, you know. <laughs> um, um, so this this is going to be a good fight. I'm low key surprised I, uh, Amanda Bobby Cooper is going to accept the fight because eight pounds is a lot of pounds. I mean, we saw this before. Not a lot of times. If you recall, Kelvin Gastelum, who's actually fighting on UFC 224 as well. He missed weight, not this fight, but in the past by 10 pounds when he fought Tyron Woodley. And so we ha we don't see this often. Fighters missing weight by eight to 10 pounds, but it has happened in the past. Now, eight when you miss weight by eight pounds, I mean, something went wrong. And I believe they said McKenzie weigh in, still had an hour to weigh in, but she wasn't going to be able to cut in eight pounds in an hour. And we've heard actually McKenzie Dern recently was asked to leave her camp, if you recall, her training camp at the MMA lab. They didn't say anything bad about her, but she just couldn't be in the gym as often as they maybe would have liked. You know, if you're if you're a gym and you're you've got a, some fighters and how does it look if you got one fighter that just comes and goes whenever she wants you got all your other students you know listening being respectful and then here she comes in and out you know so that was one thing that could have led to her being asked to leave her previous gym that's being brought up a lot now that she's missed weight people are talking about her prospect like look she was just asked to leave her gym uh, she's admitted to not being super dedicated as far as she's um, one of her recent interviews she came out and said something along the lines of you know she trains when she wants or something along those lines uh, i don't have the interview to pull up and i gotta make this quick so also mckenzie dern just missed weight by a whopping eight pounds now we could get on mckenzie dern's head if we want but i mean mckenzie dern missing eight pounds is really <laughs> i'm not gonna take the video there i was about to go on my joey diaz route but i'm not going to <laughs> uh, i'll just say this we've talked about a titty clause maybe we you know a t and a clause that's what we're gonna need a t a and d because what about guys like maybe Kelvin Gastelum missed weight, well, he missed welterweight because he's got like a five pound cock, you know what I'm saying? And so, you, and, and I, I'm saying that, pause, because I have to make it even when I bring up this titty clause, bro, because you know there's a lot of flat chested fighters, you know, there's a lot of, you know what I'm saying, flat fighters that aren't necessarily as filled out as a Mackenzie Dern might be. All we see right here in these pictures from Mackenzie Dern from the front, but she has equally as much junk in the trunk, if you know what I'm saying. And I'll, look, if you're a 115 pound fighter, you got five pounds of titties, two pounds, three pounds of ass, and you know what I mean? You're going against girls that are fucking 115 pounds of muscle, you're at a little bit of a disadvantage in a grappling situation, really in any situation. Now, Mackenzie Dern has made this weight in the past. I get it, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not giving her an excuse here necessarily. I'm just saying there's something we need to talk about, this titty clause. We've talked about it in the past because Mackenzie Dern, let's say she did make it to 115 pounds. She's got a little bit of a disadvantage against a Jessica Andrade, right? Who's gonna who's ragdolling chicks at 135 or at 115, used to fight at 135. Jessica Andrade is a straight monster. That's mini cyborg in the 115 pound division. So if she goes against Mackenzie Dern in a grappling situation, she's got a lot more muscle weight to utilize in the fight than somebody who's got like these useless titties. How are your titties helping you in a fight? How is your ass really helping you in a fight? I'm talking about uh, clearly if you've got muscles in your, if it's a muscular ass, it's going to help. You know what I'm saying? But I'm saying, so that's something we might need to talk about here because Mackenzie Dern's got a little extra weight to lose. And so she missed weight by eight pounds. I say, I say just call it even. 
you know, put the titty claws in, give give some of these chicks a five to eight pound allowance. All right, all right. That's fucking a, partly a joke because clearly that wouldn't work. But all I'm saying is Mackenzie Dern missed weight by eight pounds and it's kind of not too hard to see why. Let the full-time family know what you think in the comments. And Mackenzie Dern though has made weight in the past, but she's also missed weight in the past. Whenever I looked up her missing weight here, I typed in Mackenzie Dern misses weight. There was a time in um, Invicta or whatever organization she was fighting for before the UFC, she's missed weight in the past as well. So this isn't brand new with Mackenzie Dern. It's not her first time ever missing weight like we saw with Kevin Lee. He missed weight at UFC 223, I believe. Was it 223 or recently at UFC Atlantic City? But it, it was his first time ever missing weight as you know, collegiate and professional. This is not Mackenzie Dern's first time missing weight. The 115 pound limit might be a little hard for her to make, especially if you don't really have the super discipline, you know, and I don't know if Mackenzie Dern does. Maybe she does. Maybe she'll get it together. Maybe she just needs to hire a nutritionist. We'll see what happens. Mackenzie Dern right now is in a transitional period. She's moving camps. We know she was asked to release. Uh, asked to leave her old camp now she's going to be training in california so now that mckenzie dern's training in california you know she's mo moving right now and during this camp possibly also you know what i'm saying maybe she just needs a nutritionist or something so this is her first time missing weight in the ufc we're going to give her a little bit of slack and if amanda bobby cooper still accepts the fights we still got a scrap on our hands but with that being said keep in mind she does have the opportunity to turn down the fight if her opponent misses weight especially by eight pounds we We've seen some fighters take the fight still some fighters are like nah like leslie smith um recently remember her opponent aspen ladd i believe missed weight and she didn't take the fight but she still got her full pay that was a little bit of a different situation but uh we've john dodson when he was going to fight pedro munoz i believe um when the last fight on his contract it got rescheduled because his opponent originally missed weight so sometimes fighters take the fight sometimes uh, or don't take the fight and then sometimes in tyron woodley versus kelvin gaslam's case they do still take the fight we'll see what happens um, Mackenzie Dern, if they do fight, is going to have, it looks like, a little bit of a weight advantage. But, hey, if all that weight is up here, you know what I'm saying, and back here, is it really an advantage? Who knows, man? I'll be watching the fight. Let the full-time family know what you think in the comments. I'm out. And as always, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell right next to it so you're notified every time I upload a video. I'm out. This is number one bullshit.